American Sniper follows the true story of Chris Kyle, who has been credited as the most lethal sniper. This man was very patriotic about his country, so he went into the war after the events of 9-11. And this movie shows the four tours that he went on, and it shows him and his family, the drama between there, but mainly just the tours, and how much the war actually takes a toll on this person. So the Oscars are this Sunday, so I could watch one more movie before it was too late, and it was between this or Selma, and I chose this. And I really, really adore this movie. This movie was amazing. Like, as soon as the movie ended, like, they showed, like, some pictures and video of what actually, like, the actual uh, person and what happened, uh, well, to something that happened to him that I won't spoil in case you don't know. And as soon as the credits started rolling, usually some people would get up, but no one in the theater was moving. They were just sitting watching the true video and true pictures, just like... And even a couple sniffling, like... <laughs> like that. And as soon as, like, the unit production manager credit part started to roll up, uh, everyone started to leave very silently. Like, no one was, like, speaking to each other. It was just very silent. That's how much of an impact it made. Bradley Cooper gives what I think is one of the best performances of his entire career. Who would have thought that a man who went from being a clown from the Hangover movies would go to this? Sienna Miller, who played Chris Kyle's wife, was also really good. I only remember her from one of the G.I. Joe movies. I don't know if it was two or the first one, but I thought she was not that good in those, but she was actually really good in this movie. Majority of the conversations these characters have is usually over the phone, but when it's in real life, it actually is... It gives a boost to their performances, and they actually do a really good job together. Everyone did a good job in this movie. Even though I didn't know any other actors' names that were playing all these people, I only knew Bradley Cooper and Sienna Miller. They all did a fantastic job. And Bradley Cooper and the other actors that were actually on the Navy SEALs team in Iraq were actually actually had some good chemistry together because because essentially these people are like brothers like it's what they do they gotta have good chemistry because if they don't then it's not gonna seem realistic but they do have good chemistry so it was good I've heard a lot of hate about this movie because of political beliefs uh, I think that if you let political beliefs get in the way of you talking about a movie then you failed. If you don't agree with the political belief that's going on here, then shut up and just talk about the movie. It's like if you just talk about politics in your movie review for American Sniper or any other movie and you say, oh, I dislike it, then clearly you're only interested in talking in politics and not about the movie, which everyone wants to know about. They're like, dude, I know politics. I actually just want to know how good the movie is. Why don't you shut up? And this movie actually does a fantastic job at showing that war is not... A pretty thing. It doesn't glorify it. It actually shows that it's dark. It is not, it's not nice. It is disturbing too. There is one moment where I was like, oh my god, that is, jeez. I think my only problem with this movie is that I think that at some points they were missing some details, like what's going on with him and his family. We haven't seen that lately. What about his brother? Is there any other, like, issues that go on when he's at home? Some scenes just kind of end and I'm like, wait, I wanted an extra detail there. Like, what's What's happening? This movie is really, really well put together. Clint Eastwood does a fantastic job directing this movie, and the action sequences that go on, they were breathtaking, like suspense the whole freaking time. It is really good. Clint Eastwood knew how to make you feel suspense for this guy, because you know he doesn't die in any of these battles, but he knows how to make you feel suspenseful for this guy, even though you know he already is going to live through it and I think he did a fantastic job with it. Even though it wouldn't go on my top 10 best of 2014 list, I don't think it should win best picture because I like Birdman probably more. I do think it was a very well directed movie, very well acted, and even though it was missing a few details, it was a really, really great story adaptation because this is based off the book written by Chris Kyle. I'm gonna give American Sniper an A-. minus. It is a very terrific movie. If you get too political with this, like, oh, I don't like that, then don't see it. That's that's it. If you get too political with this stuff, then just go away from this movie. But if you just want to talk about movies and stuff and politics doesn't really, like, affect you in any way, then come, come over and see American Sniper, if you haven't already, because 
It's like the number three highest grossing movie of 2014. So if you've seen American Sniper, leave in the comments below what you thought of it. And don't leave anything political like, I didn't like this movie because uh, Demo I'm a Democrat or a Republican or however those work. I'm sorry, I... Not much into politics. Because if you leave a political comment, then everyone will probably just ignore you. Because we want to talk about movies. And leave suggestions for a 300 subscriber video that'll come out in two weeks. I'm going to keep reminding you guys until it actually comes out. So you're going to hear this a lot in, for the next two weeks. Get used to it. It's your life now. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'm Jackson Fulcher. See you guys next time.